take a look at that massive weekly candle before we get into the subject of Bitcoin potentially coming back down because I want to level with you guys and come at this as always with a very reasonable grounded approach in this market and I think we're looking at a situation where even though there's a lot of FOMO starting to set in this to me is actually starting to get really exciting because I'm pretty good, I think, at this stage at spotting when it's going to get really easy to make money in the market again. And I feel like we're right around the corner of that right now. And I want to cover it with you in this video. And also, this is potentially one of Bitcoin's most bullish times of year every single year for the past nine years. We're going to come to that in just a second as well. If you are excited for that, do me a favor and smash up the likes as you are coming in to this YouTube video. And I want to give a very, very special shout out to DeepCoin for sponsoring us on this video because they are going to be giving you a free $100 deposit bonus when you deposit a hundred dollars and make one trade worth 10k or two or three however much you like but as long as it totals 10k they would double your trading balance if you've deposited a hundred dollars which is super super cool bybit offering something very similar with up to 30k in bonuses uh, but deep coin is a no kyc exchange so that is super super cool go ahead and check them out if you are interested if not bybit remains the best place to be in the market let's take a look at this price action up close and personal before we look at why this is potentially one of the most bullish times of bitcoin's year actually a very moony time of year i wish i had the vision pro so i could put us in the moon right now but obviously we're not ready for that technology just yet um you know and if we take a look at this pump i mean you know we're on the daily time frame here it has pumped right up to that key forty-eight thousand dollar level of resistance okay if we read the uh, ohlc at the very top we did pass forty-eight thousand dollars. we managed to top out at 48.2 which is absolutely fantastic uh, and this is a top that bitcoin Set way back in 2022. That is like nearly two years ago now since we actually topped out over here back in March of 2022, uh, to therefore potentially putting us in a triple top pattern. Now, what's really interesting and important about this particular time we're hitting it is that the more we hit our resistance levels, the weaker they tend to get, right? I mean, it's the same concept we were talking about if you were subscribed to this channel back when we were at about $30,000. I was telling you guys, look, we knew that this would be an, uh, an obvious area of resistance because it was really strong support going back, right? I mean, you know, I, I don't really need to show you this. This is quite obvious for those of us that have been in the space uh, just for, for the last couple of years. And so naturally, we did expect expect it to be heavy resistance but we also knew that if we hit it as resistance you know a couple of times here and then break into the range and then a couple more times and then we float around it well then we are overwhelmingly more likely to break it each subsequent time we get there and that's exactly what I think is going to be happening with the $48,000 level with the catch that this level just is not as strong as uh, of, of a resistance level as thirty thousand dollar was uh, as a thirty k level was. So to 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 rephrase that, that means I think the thirty thousand dollar level was a stronger, heavier, more formidable area of resistance than 48k. It took us seven months to break 30k. I think it might only take us another one or two months max, absolute max, to break 48. Uh, the way things are going right now. Just just to prove a point, I don't necessarily think that that's the case, but just to give you an idea of timeframes, I think this is going to be at least twice as easy to break uh, than the 38k level, and than the 30k level. Uh, but this is beautiful because we managed to hit it right here and we got a massive rejection off this level. It, it dropped by 63% just within the next three months and obviously down to the absolute market low. It dropped by 67% and there is a very big difference between 63 and 67%. It's not just a 4% change, it's actually a full percent change and that's because of how probabilities work uh i'm sorry how math works but if we take a look at uh this this current set of uh, set of price action right here we've already gotten our first rejection we're up here for number two if this doesn't break to me what we could be looking at is a beautiful kind of you know falling back down to this critical price area here and getting ready to target it again and then actually what we start forming is uh you know some sort of a uh, an ascending triangle pattern right where we're punching in higher highs as time goes on keeping the same ceiling and then eventually that momentum uh you know builds up a little bit too much and we end up exploding to the upside and we're not even necessarily going for the super strict definition of an ascending triangle because 
really what we're interested in is are we generally speaking punching in higher lows in the market while the highs stay at the same level and if the answer is yes then we're still showing a very clear sign that actually if our lows are getting higher we are pushing to the upside and it's only going to be a matter of time until basically what this is is a sell wall until that sell wall disappears and to talk about the mechanics of that because it's actually really useful to uh, visualize and understand let's say we've got an arbitrary number of bitcoins that want to be sold up at forty-eight thousand dollars let's say it's ten thousand bitcoins once we hit the $48,000 level for the first time, 2,000 Bitcoins are sold up there. Now there's only 8K left in that sell wall. There's only 8,000 Bitcoins left in that sell wall. We get up there again right now. Now there's 5,000 Bitcoins left in that sell wall. The more we get there, the more we're chipping away at that ceiling and the more likely we are to break out. And this is actually a concept we've spoken about a lot on this YouTube channel. Again, those of you that are subscribed are going to be super familiar with this because it's actually very powerful to help us visualize where those uh, you know, resistance breakouts or even support breakouts could be coming. So, uh, you know, I think that we're in a very, very strong position with that in mind, uh, you know, and if we take a look at some really useful charts to show us what this might look like if we do end up forming some sort of a pullback, uh, you know, we're now actually starting to see some really nice Fibonacci levels start to pre present themselves just off this uh, local low from, our, you know, where this rally really kicked off. We've got some really nice Fibonacci levels right now stretching, sitting at about 44.6 right here uh, with our 618. And obviously, there's so much more that we can draw on this chart just depending on where pardon me where you actually want to draw these fib levels from uh I, I actually want to do this just off this low right here and let's see what we come to by the way i think it's a little bit too early to actually look at these fibs because we don't know if bitcoin's actually topped out over here but uh what it does do is help us start priming our minds for because when it happens if it happens nothing's guaranteed but if it happens where we get a pullback it could end up being very quick so it actually pays to start you know visualizing what these things could look like now rather than you know later when it you know when you're going to be scrambling when it's a little bit late and we're already starting to see a beautiful 382 level right i mean <clears throat> If Bitcoin manages to punch in a higher top right here, uh, you know, let's say all the way up here where we previously topped out, that's an even better 382 retracement down uh, at the $45,000 level. So that's all to say that there's really good support for Bitcoin in this range. We're going to get to some of the longer term analysis in just a sec as well, because I want to talk to you about where Bitcoin could go because of all of this. But bear with me here because this is going to be worth uh, waiting for. Uh, the uh, EMA ribbons as well, providing support for Bitcoin climbing very high, very quickly, showing us that if Bitcoin does end up falling back, down there's going to be a nice big cushion of support for it uh to benefit from and obviously this is you know coming off of an absolutely critical price area on the chart as well i mean again if we just kind of zoom out and pay attention to this purple box right here uh which will help us kind of see where the market uh you know has interacted with this particular price level before uh we can actually just zoom out just a little bit here just bear with me because i think my connection is acting up a little bit but there we go it's all back to normal now uh this box here obviously very important throughout bitcoin's price history stretching all the way back to 2021 with some really important support hits some important support hits over here a resistance rejection and lots more resistance back in 2022 as well so uh this is a you know quite important psychologically technically charged level of the market uh you know and obviously seeing how quickly bitcoin has risen up obviously to me uh you know everybody else is going to be looking at this thing going to the moon and 50,000 and 60,000 and so on and, you know that's cool let them have that enjoyment but we understand that markets do actually you know end up forming retracements and again I don't think that this was enough of a retracement I've been telling you that quite vocally and I'm not gonna you know the, the, one of the you know one of the famous times where I was saying the same thing was actually back here in this rally uh, I was saying around over here this is a little bit too much we're rising a little bit a little bit too aggressively uh you know and, and i and i kind of started to lose faith in myself probably around over here and then around over here i was like yeah you know what new paradigm future of finance i was wrong this is not going to have a pullback and then that actually turned out to be the fucking all-time high so uh you know what's really important is sometimes you might be a little bit premature uh on the timing front uh but that doesn't mean that the markets don't have to retrace and and they they always do there's never been an exception when i kind of feel that there's never been an exception I, it just it just might be that my timing was a little bit premature uh and that's okay you know I'm, I'm not it's not like i'm stopping making money right i'm actually in a bigger profit than this right now uh, at the time of making this video with you guys on my current bitcoin position on my uh, trx position of course so it's not like i'm saying no to making money uh you know but i am staying cautious about uh you know 
yeah, just kind of getting swept away with the hype. So for me, seeing a kind of retracement back down here is going to start to look like a very, very healthy trade. And that is exactly what I like to see. These exchanges are giving you massive amounts of capital to trade with when you sign up and start trading using my links in the description down below. Uh, you know, and to me, this is just looking like such an obvious trade for me to potentially uh, take as well. So obviously, I'll never tell you guys what to trade, but with free money, you can kind of do anything and it almost doesn't matter what you do. So uh, that's great to know. And again, the way you get those free bonuses is just by registering using my links, making your deposits and starting to trade. Once you've started trading, they will give you that money credited into your account. And if you ever have an issue with any of the exchanges I've ever worked with, please contact me directly here on Telegram. Uh, I have got really good connections to these exchanges. Any issue you ever have, I don't care what it is, just come straight to me and I will help you out. Of course, this is the link to my free Telegram channel as well. Go ahead and check that out if you haven't done so already. That is packed with much more free value uh, as well if you like this content on this YouTube channel. Now, I want to take a, a more uh, zoomed out look at things. And actually, I want to talk to you about, uh, you know, an interesting set of coincidences here. We've got the uh, uh, Bitcoin, uh, you know, Chinese New Year gain, which I think is actually really curious and interesting. Um, you know, one of the uh, bits of analysis here is uh, the, uh, the the days surrounding, I can't find it right now. Uh, during the last nine years, Bitcoin has been up every time uh, uh, around February 10. Uh, this is actually the, uh, the the Chinese New Year, the Lunar New Year. Uh, this this is uh, the, the Lunar New Year based off the moon. So, you know, that's that's interesting in and of itself. Uh, it's, it's almost like Bitcoin's kind of, uh, we're, we're like we're in a simulation with Bitcoin because this next thing I'm going to show you, I mean, like I saw this, I'm, I'm, I'm not the kind of guy that believes in this stuff. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just not, doesn't mean, you know, it doesn't mean it's wrong. I just, you know, I just don't really subscribe to it. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's really fucking interesting. We're seeing it happen right now where like every single time around, uh, you know, the uh, the 10th of February, we, we see a pump going into it and a pump afterwards as well. It's it's so fucking strange, guys. Take a look at this. I'm going to show you this. So right now we're doing it uh, right now. Now, back in 2022, this one's actually really significant in my opinion because 2022 was pretty much uh, a constant fucking downtrend, like start to finish. It was a constant downtrend. So any upward price action in itself is a little bit out of character for 2022. Uh, yet that is exactly where, if we take a look at February 7 right here, uh, the week before, you know, beginning of February, and of course, uh, during the week of February 7, we did actually see uh, a nice little pump on Bitcoin right here, right up to this price level here. And this obviously continued uh, just after uh, the, the Lunar New Year, just after like February 10, which I thought was really, really, I don't know if uh, new, Lunar New Year was around then. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't actually know how the Lunar New Year works, but I'm guessing that uh, it floats around the same time of year because uh, that is what the article says. And we believe everything we read on the internet. But here's the same thing around February 10 of 2021. Uh, this gets ridiculous. I mean, here's 2020, another, you know, fairly catastrophic year for Bitcoin. But right around this time, Bitcoin's actually peaking, uh, reaching a really, really interesting price level here. Uh, you know, if we take a look at 2019, it's the same fucking picture. We're trending up. I mean, we're on the weekly time frame. This doesn't look significant to you because we're on the weekly time frame. But you got to keep in mind, this is a lot of price action at times where the markets were actually very stale. So, uh, you know, really says a lot. Here's February, uh, you know, of, of 2018. Uh, you know, I mean, this this was a massive move up this week right here. You know, I mean, uh, you, you can go back and kind of verify this on your own because I don't want to like keep zooming in to prove this to you. But just continuous pumps. I mean, every single year, it, it's, it's really, like I said, I'm not the guy that believes in this kind of shit, but... Uh, you know, I mean, look at that. It's just, you know, the only three weekly candles that are trending up in a row, uh, you know, happen to be surrounding February 10 right here. I mean, just very, very curious. Take a look at this right here again. Uh, a nice pump on this week. I mean, it's just never, it's just never bearish. That, you know, that's something which is very, very clear. And I believe that's as far as it goes because this was only for, actually, no, yeah, no, it's, it's back here in 2013 as well. So it actually goes back, um, yeah, uh, 11 years. I think it's, it said 12 years on the um, on the article, actually. If we take a look at this right here, what happens? Uh, yeah, this is probably, you know, where that breaks a little bit. Uh, so, you know, I mean, really, really interesting stuff. Just, you know, a yearly, you know, thing happening at exactly the same time. Very interesting little bit of, uh, like I said, simulation vibes, really. I don't know how you can pin this down to being anything else. It's just so strange and hard to explain. But, uh, you know, I'm sure somebody... 
who, who's a little bit more psychic has those answers for us in the comment section you know obviously i try to keep it uh, a lot more scientific on this youtube channel just because you know it's a nice language that we can all speak uh you know but uh, but that stuff is really interesting now here's something else which i think uh is, is going to definitely grab your attention it's actually uh some of these kind of ascending channels that bitcoin has been printing before massive breakouts and we're kind of doing one right now now this was back in 2020 remember that was the february bit of price action i was showing you for 2020 uh back then we also formed this nice ascending channel on bitcoin which basically started off as a massive uptrend and then ended with a massive uptrend as well and we don't quite have the same starting position but we do have a very similar kind of time frame that we're working with here this one lasted about 166 days our current one is going for about 166 days as well depending on how you measure it uh you know and if we end up doing the same thing again right now that's actually giving us some really crazy price targets of like two hundred thousand dollars if we kind of extrapolate what we saw before uh and based off one of our very long-term charts that we've taken some looks at uh you know over these last youtube videos uh well not not really recently but and, and the reason i don't talk about this often is because i don't actually like this chart but i mean it is remarkably consistent you know i mean th this is a natural kind of top for bitcoin if we look at this curve uh that uh, this this curve basically you know shows that bitcoin does get less and less extreme over time on the vertical axes so you know i mean it does make sense i don't really like this kind of chart but uh, you know, I mean, again, even with things like that Lunar New Year thing, like if I don't really agree with the analysis, but it's still striking, then, you know, it's not like I'm just going to ignore it. Uh, I, I will still pay attention to these kind of things because, you know me, I'm still willing to learn. Uh, if we take a look at this chart right here again a closer look at that 2020 price action uh, we saw a nice little curved top right here uh, and we're seeing something similar just recently for bitcoin so if this does continue then that would actually indicate that i'm wrong and we're not getting a pullback and we're actually just rallying straight to the moon from here I don't think these things are going to happen. But again, if you're a little bit more bullish, you are going to want to see these charts and you are going to appreciate me showing them to you. This is why we've got healthy functioning markets because you know different perspectives actually all look like they could kind of play out uh, and that's why the market actually moves you know uh and, and 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 so that you know it's just part of a normal market that's just how money works so uh you know definitely some interesting factors uh floating around over there with these kind of fractal style analysis pieces uh if we take another look at some of our key indicators though it's just more good signs. I mean, you know, I mean, regardless of where Bitcoin kind of goes, whether it rises from here or starts to drop down, we have a really good support uh, if we do end up coming back down. And to me, this is, you know, really reopening Bitcoin's opportunity to kind of uh, rally back up. You know, if we do get that pullback, I really, really do want to see that pullback now because it's just going to be the healthiest thing Bitcoin can do. Uh, if we look at this on the daily with our momentum, we're starting to see some really nice curving up. So over these next days, uh, uh, this EMA ribbon is probably going to start to look uh, a little bit something like this, right? So uh, hopefully just kind of within the next, yeah, like four or five days, we're going to start to see some uh, very, very useful support here lining up on the daily. And of course, our four hour EMA is already there. So, uh, you know, that is a strong sign uh, with momentum uh, showing us that, uh, yeah, I mean, if we do end up kind of coming back down, we do already have some confluence in this range i also want to uh throw another fib on this chart just uh, starting quite low from this low where everything kind of started uh for this rally this is obviously back where i was very bullish and absolutely nobody else was uh always always very very funny to observe uh and there is no real interesting fibonacci level from here if we take a look at this fib level which is probably the more common one uh still nothing crazy nothing that i'm like super over the moon about uh the 236 level definitely looking interesting though 40, 43,800 obviously a critical level for bitcoin over these last few months since november by the way i mean this is going back like four months now no no since december my bad still three months um you know definitely uh you know an interesting bit of price action here uh that uh you know i mean it, it would be a good level to see bitcoin retracing down so i mean this this rally and you can really see it with this chart this rally has been you know very strong if we actually take the measured move uh you know of, of, of what we did for the first leg and what we're doing for the second leg we're basically done uh you know we don't have to stick to this but this is it, it actually it plays out a lot more than you would think uh where you know we have a nice measured move 
uh, and then we consolidate and then we basically you know yeah like i said you just you know you just drag the line to the next breakout and uh and and well to the to the beginning of the next move and or even to the breakout it really depends on your style uh, you know, and that can tell you, you know, that can give you a kind of idea of where the market's going to top out, right? So again, you know, for me, I, I, you know, I could, you know, jump on the bandwagon and get super excited about, you know, $200,000 with the rest of you guys, not necessarily you, but the crypto space in general. But at the same time, you guys know, that's not really me. You know, I'm not really about that style. Uh, you know, I'm more interested in kind of realistic grounded TA. And, uh, you know, for me, uh, I, I want to see, I want to see nice pullbacks. I want to see nice kind of, you know, retracements as we continue on higher because i just i want the market to stick around i mean a lot of people want to just get a massive fucking you know shot of like heroin or whatever like shooting it up and like getting massive massive highs and not really expecting that you will have to come down as well uh you know but for me i'm just you know i'm just chilling i'm just cruising you know like let's just you know <laughs> let's not do anything too crazy let's not have massive come downs either let's just you know let's just chill on the way up chill on the way down nothing too crazy uh, and the way we achieve that is by you know getting these kind of pullbacks that could uh you know set bitcoin up for some really really nice moves so uh there you go guys i hope you have enjoyed this video you've got beautiful beautiful opportunities to check out with the links in the description down below like i said deep coin right here it's actually a major uh, exchange many of you guys probably haven't heard of it but these guys are ranked quite high on coin market cap for derivatives volume so very very high i think it was like rank nine or something like that uh so if you are interested uh, in getting some free money to trade with, then, uh, you know, $100, for example, very, very small capital. Basically, everyone watching this has $100. And if you don't, then probably shouldn't be watching a crypto analysis video, to be honest. I feel like this might be a little bit out of depth for you. Uh, just, you know, just a little bit too early, basically. I would literally work any fucking job and you'll make $100 and, and you'll be there. Uh, you know, but uh, but if you do deposit 100 uh, and, and you trade, you make trades worth 10K, you can do that in one trade or you can do that in five trades, 10 trades, whatever you like. Uh, but as soon as you hit that, uh, you're going to get another $100 for free. And, you know, this applies with $900 or, you know, 60K Bybits giving you up to uh, $30,000 in exchange bonuses. Uh, so they're, they're both beautiful, beautiful offers. Uh, Deepcoin is a no KYC exchange, which is super, super cool. Uh, when you do sign up using my link, you'll instantly get a $10 training bo a trading bonus as well. You can just throw that straight into the market and any profits you generate are going to be yours to keep as well. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this one. You know what to do. Hit up the likes, subscribe, tick the bell so you don't miss out on this very time sensitive content. And I'm going to see you all in the next one. Cheers.